Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I mean, look at this. We've got like 30 smiling kids this morning. And you guys are part of Urban Initiatives here at Barry Elementary. You guys excited to play soccer this morning? Yeah. Are you guys excited to be on TV this yeah. morning? Okay, what drill are they gonna be doing here first this morning? We're gonna play crab soccer, crazy crab soccer. Crazy crab soccer, all right. You, they're so excited to be on TV this morning, guys. You can tell they're jumping in front of the camera. And let's talk to Michelle first, Urban Initiatives. Guys, you guys have been doing this for almost 15 years, and what you guys do is you bring soccer and sport and teamwork to kids that may not have had a chance to do it. Absolutely, yeah. So this is our third year here at Barry. Ricky and I started it back in 2015, and we've grown exponentially. So Urban Initiatives is a sports-based youth development soccer program that focuses on soccer and the power of play, getting these kids physically active, teaching them health and character development, you know, talking points. And, um, and so many of these schools, they don't have sports at this young age. Yeah. And then by the time you get to the age where you play sports, you have to already be seasoned and good. So this is a good chance for them to learn at a really young age. Absolutely, yeah. Sports at this young of an age is really um, challenging to get especially at these far, you know, underserved communities that are spread across the city. So, you know, doing our part, getting them outside, getting them active and engaged and teaching them, you know, healthy, healthy habits. I know. It's so wonderful. Not only do the kids get to do it when they're young, but you have programs that help them become leaders later on. That's so cool. Absolutely. So we start with our fifth graders. You see our captains here in our orange jerseys. And this is our leadership development program, which gets them you know, engaged in community service, uh, taking the initiative and being a self-starter, along with leading practices and games. And I'm here with Deborah. Deborah, how are you doing this morning? Good. What's your favorite part about uh, playing soccer in the morning? My favorite part is playing soccer in the morning is that we get to play uh, games and do cool stuff. Um, and then after we do all that stuff, we uh, get in a group at the Green Circle, and then we eat snacks and talk about what we did. Eat snacks is my favorite part. What's your favorite game, Jaylene? Number soccer. Number soccer. How do you play? So there's two sides of teams, and then each each team on each person on the line, they have numbers, and so when the teacher calls the numbers, they all gather to play. Oh, that's fun. And Artino, what you like? Are you having fun this morning? Yes. If I describe one word to describe it, I'll be so lucky because soccer is awesome. I love Urban Initiative. I have my awesome coach. I have the awesome coach. Oh, I'm awesome. High five there. You came here to visit us, and we're on live television. I thought we were about to get hit by a soccer. I, I did. <laughs> You're a little star. You want to be on TV one day, don't yeah. you? Coach Ricky Vargas, you think I should play some soccer later? I think you should. All right, so you're the gym teacher at Barry Elementary, and then you help out with this. You volunteer with this all morning long. Why do you do it with Urban, Urban Initiatives? Well, if you look around, they've been here since 5.50 in the morning, nonstop. They'll never sleep. This is their commitment, what they love doing, to go and give back to the community as well. And other people can volunteer too, right? They can volunteer, yes. They can come here on Monday and Tuesday in the morning, also Thursday after school around 3.30, 3.45. And you're just one of dozens of schools, right, that have programs. We're one out of 44 since 2003. It was our third year. I mean, it must give you a lot of joy. You're the gym teacher during the day. That's a little bit more strict. You got to, but they, here you get to have fun. You get to know them on a personal level. 100%. And when, when they come here, a smile's on my face, the energy's there, and everyone loves having a good time. I will be suiting up. I will be playing soccer in just a little bit. It's Urban Initiatives. It, go to urbaninitiatives.org to find out ways that you can volunteer and give back. They rely on your donation and your help to keep this program going. Oh, I just kicked it. I kicked the ball, guys. I got involved. What show are you guys on? One, two, three. That's, That's right. They're on the jam, and they're super excited today. So what's the weather going to be like today, guys? shivering. They need to bundle up. 44 degrees will be your high temperature for today. Should be dry, though. Some clouds, some sun, but mainly a sunny day. Okay, guys, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? <laughs> That's right. Repeat. It's going to be another 44 degree day. And if you look at the weekend, uh-oh, guys, I know what we see on the screen there. They, they're seeing it at home right now. It might snow this weekend. What are your thoughts? Yeah! Okay, the kids are excited for snow. The thing you told me right before we went on air is that you like dancing, right? Yeah. Can you show us a little dance move too? I'll try and give you a little beat. Go ahead and do what you were doing earlier. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, dancing, dancing, Artino dancing. Here we go. Not only is he a dancing man, he's a weatherman too. So Artino, why don't you go ahead and give us, you're doing awesome by the way. Why don't you take the microphone and give us our forecast? 
Today is going to be 44 sunny and cloudy, and tomorrow is going to be 44 degrees and sunny. And in a few days, we might have a little bit of snow. Yay! So buy your hats and gloves, people, and buy your scarves. Bundle up, because it's going to be a cold day. Buy your, you like the cold weather? Yep. You're a cold weather baby, you said, right? Yep. All right, so what do you do when you toss back? Toss it back to you, Danielle. <laughs> so in soccer, when you score a goal, you say goal, and the announcer holds it for a really long time. But instead of saying goal, why don't we say cold and hang it as, hold it as long as we can, all right, guys? So what's the weather going to be like for the next few days? Cold. All right, they're going to keep on holding it, guys. I don't know how long they can do it, but it's going to be cold. Back to you in the studio, cold. And now I'm here with Jordy. Jordy, how are you doing this morning? Good. You're one of the goalies, right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to try and score on you in a little bit, but first we want to hear an awesome chant that you guys have as a school. So can you lead your classmates in a chant? Yeah. All right, so all right, you guys ready for this? Yeah. All right. One voice. One voice. One team. One team. One school. One school. Barry. 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 That was awesome. Barry Elementary just one of 44 schools that has an awesome program like this. All right, so I'm going to dribble down and I'm going to try and score a goal on you, okay? Are you going to let me score? Maybe. Okay, all right, you go ahead and get in the goal. All right, John's dribbling down. He's past halfway, whatever the phrase is. Here I go, and I'm coming up to Jordy, and I scored! Oh! I scored a goal, and we've got the goal celebration going on. It's Urban Initiatives. It's an awesome program all over the city of Chicago, teaching youth how to play soccer and have fun and learn a lot of teamwork. So, guys, I scored a goal, and we're all celebrating. Back to you in the studio. That looks